You can have a perfect smile, but your teeth hurt all the time. No. I, the, the easiest... Your teeth will look nice, but you will be in pain every second of your life. No thank you. I choose... I choose... No. Here's one for you, Apollo. <laughs> it's, it's actually... It's your question. You can change your name to anything you want. But people will always give you an annoying nickname for it. Thoughts? Do you have thoughts on this one? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like, you can already change your name. This is just a weird question. You can change your name to anything you want. And people can also give you an annoying nickname. I guess I would hit no I would hit that I would not hit the button. I will I will hit the button that says don't hit the button because it seems like the alternative here is if I don't hit the button, I can still change my name to anything that I want to do, but people won't always give me an annoying nickname. Maybe just sometimes they'll give me an annoying nickname. I choose not to hit the button. Easy. These questions, man. You gain the ability to turn back time. You can only go back an hour into the past, and it can only be used once per day. But every time you use this power, the person you love the most loses a, a month of their lifespan. However, that hour could be used to save their life. Um, I would push the button because there's no downside. There's no downside. You have the ability to use the power. You choose uh, not to use it. Or, if they get in like a terrible accident or something, you use it and you cost them a month of their life to be like, hey, you know, somebody cut your brake lines. I choose, I choose to push the button. Yeah. I choose to push the button. It's kind of like the movie Click, but like with the horror bend. Oh, yes, here we go. Another another classic. Um, you can understand and speak to animals, but you don't understand uh, the human language anymore. I'm assuming that uh, they are referring to English as the human language based on how the question is written. You don't understand the human language anymore. Um, ah, yes, as I like to call it, English. Um, I choose not to... No, this is like... No, of course not. 37% of people... I mean, you'd get a very diverse assortment of uh, opinions. You could talk to insects and, you know, uh, primates and snakes and fish and yada yada. But I'm sure, like, you'd be disappointed, right? Like, unless you're talking to, like, a dolphin, a chimpanzee, or, like, maybe a dog or a cat. Pretty sure, like, every other animal is just hungry or horny, like, all or tired all the time, right? I guess that kind of describes human beings as well, but we dress it up with things like art and music and, and anime. Um, anyway, next question. <laughs> this, it, 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 you know, you get the ability to travel in time, but you can only travel in one direction, future or past, which you choose before gaining the ability. Top comment from Star Wars fan 24 five years ago says, I all just liked your comments, so how down before me? And I think that really sums it up. That really, really just puts it into perspective right there. <laughs> um, yes, I, I, of course, I would choose the ability... There's no down. It's, it's so many of these questions are like, hey, you get uh, something, but it's only half as good as it would normally be. You're like, yeah, free something. Easy. Would you go back or forward? 100%. I would time, tra time traveling forward only sates your curiosity. I get it. You have a curious mind. You're like, I wonder what the world's going to look like in a thousand years. You always go back. 
I'm pretty sure if you travel forward, like let's assume the world's awesome, right? Let's assume it's not nuclear winter. You travel uh, forward in time. For like a couple of years, you're going to be like, this is incredible. And then you're going to be like, oh, dehydrated pizza. I can get a pepperoni pizza in two seconds, but we're all still miserable. What you do, you go back in time. Like, you know, a, a certain length of time. You pick the era you want to spend the most of your life in. You go back in time. Do the stock market thing. Do the sports betting thing. The Biff Tannen. Get infinite money. And then... It's just that simple, you know, enjoy the enjoy having a hundred million dollars in like 1976. You can live like a king. It's in that beautiful era before the Internet comes out where you're not exposed to the thoughts of idiots all the time. You could live like a. You could live like a, a an emperor. Here's a question for you. You can materialize any anime character into your life and make them like you. However, every time you add an anime character into your life, the, you risk the chance of dematerializing your best friends by 5%. You know how pissed off I would be if my friend rolled a 20-sided dice on my existence so he could have sex with a cartoon? Assuming there is some kind of ghost realm, he would be haunted forever. 1 in 20 is a really high chance considering the very, very meager reward here. I will not push the button. 53% of people would push the button. That is one of the scariest results I think I've seen today. 53%. I mean, like, let's be honest. 5% chance of de dematerializing your best friend? There's probably things I would push the button for. I would be furious, though, if somebody did it just so they could, like, mac on Misty from Pokemon. Oh, my God. That's not the way I want to go. A soul for a soul. I was told there would be no math. You can freeze time whenever and wherever you want. Whilst time is frozen, you can freely move and manipulate people and objects. But time will start moving again between 30 seconds to 5 minutes of the initial freeze. Afterwards, you have a cooldown period equal to the number of seconds times 50. I choose no, just because I don't like the question. I feel like I don't want, I don't want you to get this, the dopamine for me hitting the button. Oh my god, this is, this question is written by a nine-year-old kid. There's no doubt about it. You have infinite money and you can buy whatever you want, but whenever you buy something anywhere in the world, Anywhere in the world dies and their family loses everything they have, including money. So it's not, it's not bad enough. That you would, anytime you buy anything, someone anywhere in the world dies. But then also their whole family loses everything they have, including money. Uh, I would not hit the button. Okay, 39% hit the button. I can, I can live with that. That's not so bad. That, that gives me some hope for society. It's another, it's another time machine question. It's another time machine question. Um, let me, I'm not even going to read you the question. I'm just going to read you the top comment. I would get a TARDIS, go to Gallifrey before the doctor stuck it in a different universe and take another TARDIS and use that. Okay, that should give you some kind of gist of what the question is like. Go to all your favorite artist band concerts, but they always play the same three Britney Spears covers. 
You can tell this is an old question because it's before the Renaissance and uh, you know the revitalization of, of Britney Spears in the in the public eye. This was still when Britney Spears was like getting dunked on. But I don't know. I mean, I think I think it all depends on the word "go" in this in this question. Okay. Actually, it depends on a lot. It doesn't say they only play the same three Britney Spears covers. It just seems they always play them. They could play other stuff as well. They just, every concert, they always play Toxic, Stronger, and Hit Me Baby One More Time. Um, then go to all of your favorite artist band concerts. I don't know. What, what is go? I get a free ticket, free, free accommodations. I'm just going to hit the button. Just The top comment, by the way, all my faves are metal bands, so it would be hilarious and epic. Uh, 35%. More people were like, yeah, infinite money. If I buy a pack of gum, somebody in the Philippines is freaking wiped out. <laughs> but at least AFI isn't playing uh, Sometimes by Britney Spears. Okay, well, scary. A little scary there. Moving on. And epic. Easy, no downside question. You win a million dollars, but you can't spend any of it until three years before you die. Yes, thank you. I will take my free one million dollars. This is as close to uh, a, a test of what percentage of society are idiots that you could possibly come up with. We have now, through rigorous testing we have figured out the floor this is the floor of intelligence in in humankind 45 percent of the people that answered this question are incapable of critical thought to even the slightest degree 55 percent of society and this is maybe even a little more than i thought 55 percent of society at least has a chance they can tie their own shoes 45 percent are incapable of even the basis level comparative analysis. Yeah, on top of that, plus I would know when I went three years away from death. What if I don't want to know if I'm going to die in three years? Well, I mean, that's a different question, I suppose. I think that's a good thing. I'd want to know if I only had three years left. I'll tell you what, if, if I got three years left, we're just stream shutting down right now. <laughs> I'll take my million dollars, please. I would, you know, it would be an uncomfortable couple of days while I came to uh, terms with what was going to happen to me. And then after that, I would change my, the, uh, if possible, at least I would change my life to, you know, be a little bit more in tune with the principles that I would want knowing that I'm about to, you know, leave this mortal coil. Absolutely. This is a no downside. You become a powerful, legendary dragon. But you are the only dragon in the world. And you lose all capacity to communicate with humans. I will not. I will not hit that button. You make a compelling argument. But I will... By the way, roughly the same percentage as the last question. Just throwing that out there. I... Uh, I I choose not to become a dragon for no... I guess the, the reason is you become a dragon. That's, that's the benefit. It's a, this is a spicy question. You are given one wish to do with as you will. No matter what you wish for or how you wish, you will die in five years no matter what happens. Yeah, why wouldn't you push the button? You push the button, you get a free wish. When you use it, it, it puts a five-year clock on you. But hey, you could kind of... It's like in Slay the Spire, when you turn the cards downside into an upside. What if you saved it till you were like in your dying breath? And then you were like... Chicken strip basket from Dairy Queen. They'd be like, oh shit. Then you'd have a chicken strip basket from Dairy Queen. And you get another five years out of it. No matter what happens. Does exactly what it says on the card. Nothing more, nothing less. I, I, I hit the button. Absolutely. 36% hit the button. 
64% are like, uh, five years after I wish to see the One Direction concert? I don't think so. I'm going to miss all their great albums that Zayn Malik's going to be around to make. Jesse, did you see the news about Zayn Malik? Okay, this question is not only are you stupid, but are you mean? You find the cure of cancer, but it doesn't work on you. I push the button. We have now found the amount of people in uh, society that are actually just bad people. Not just stupid, but bad. <laughs> this is the baseline evil, yes. Because you don't even get a reward out of not pressing the button. There's, there's no downside whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, you're smart people. I don't think I need to walk you through this one. One in about eight and a half percent, or one in about eight and a half people out there is, uh, is the Joker, really, is basically what it's about. So we know 45% of people are stupid, 12% are just uh, mean. Some of them overlap, I'm sure. What is this question? You go into the Hunger Games and win. So that's a big upside. I get to, I don't know, kill 10 people and be scared. Um, but on the, on the downside, after that incredible high, you die of genetically mutated tuberculosis on your Victor's tour. And Victor is a proper noun. It was a, named after like a guy. I will not push the button. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> you, will you press the button? You will become a millionaire and everyone will envy you. But you can only have intercourse with people over the age of 86 years. Um, just uh, quite ageist, really. Remember what Ben Franklin said? All cats are gray in the dark. Will you press the button? You get a fully functional portal gun, but every time you fire it, a black hole spontaneously appears somewhere in our galaxy. Would you make it so you could walk to school in two seconds, but the Earth will be destroyed? Mm, I'm not going to hit the button. I'm not going to hit the button. This this comment, what show full comment. I don't know if I should do this one sec. Alec Brimmer. It isn't specific on what settings there are. As far as I know, with one shot, I could send everyone with an IQ below 125. He's, he's very smart. I could send everyone with an IQ below 125 into some realm of stupidity and the portal stay there to suck any future idiots and call it Canada. It isn't specific on what settings there are. So as far as I know, with one shot, I could send everyone with an IQ below, sorry, an IQ bellow, um, below 125 into some realm of stupidity and the portal stay there to suck any future idiots and call it Canada. Got him. <laughs> Say hypothetically your IQ was below 125 uh, And then rhetorically speaking I had a portal gun that could suck every future idiot Into some realm of idiocy, uh, idiocy And call it Canada This seems like this is another no upside you are Kanye West But you have to watch Taylor Swift's music video 10 times a day Actually you know what it's the opposite the up, over time, the upside has become the downside, and the downside has become the upside. Kanye is going through some stuff right now, and I don't, I don't really want to be him to begin with. Taylor Swift music videos? Not a huge fan, but there's some of the songs are pretty... Like Shake It Off is a pretty good song. I don't know. I know uh, Love Story. I know that one. And... Um, she had one that... The old Taylor can't come to the phone. Why? She's dead. Bad blood? Is that... That's bad blood? Uh, anyway, I will not push the button.
We stand Taylor here. I got nothing against her. Your life is full of good fortune. Wealth, job you love, dream partner, etc., etc. But if you eat anything but dry toast, you get bad flatulence for a few days and you can't hide it or pretend it wasn't you. Push this button a long time ago, quite frankly. It's, uh, it, it's always sobering when you get uh, a question that is kind of like, it's, <laughs> it's already the bargain you've made with your life, apparently. Although I can blame it on the baby a little. During the zombie apocalypse, you are given three guns or weapons that will guarantee your survival during this apocalypse. However, one of the weapons or guns will be the cause of your death, but you don't know how and when. So they, the guns, isn't it ironic? They, kind of, they simultaneously guarantee your survival, but also kill you. That's a, that's a good one. Um, so, no. No, thank you. My thought, destroy two of the guns and attempt to kill yourself with the third. The act will make you know which one will kill you. Therefore, it won't. From then on, it can't because it has be proven that the only one possible it can't be. Mind blown. Mind blown. This, this guy should be playing Mind Trap, dude. He went big brain on that one. My thought, destroy two of them and attempt to kill yourself with the third. The act will make you know which one will kill you, therefore it won't. From then on, it can't because it has be proven that the only one possible it can't be. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, that that guy, he's at least 126. He's not getting sucked off in the Canada portal. This is like not even bad. This is like this is literally I'm just gonna preempt this by saying this is actually just you're a better airplane. Let's just call it that, okay? You gain the ability to teleport anywhere at any time, but every time you do teleport, you have to use the restroom immediately. Literally just traveling, but better. You're like, oh, I want to have lunch in Tokyo? Okay, I teleport myself to the men's bathroom at, uh, you know, the Narita airport. There you go. Drain the lizard. You get on the the bullet train and you you're you're having sushi by 4:30. This is it's the easiest question of all time. Yes. 15% said no. Why? It does you have to go to the bathroom anyway. Are you stupid? Even if you don't hit the button, you still got to urinate. You just can't teleport anymore. Anyway, next question. Um, I don't even know how to read this one. <laughs> Ability to travel to any period of time, but you will not be able to a different sense every time, but it comes back when you get to the present. You can travel to any period of time, but you will not be able to a different sense. every. You will not be able to... I'm, ass I'm assuming you lose one of your five senses every time. Um, but it comes back when you get to the present. I don't like the way it says get to. You know, like if I go back to 1986 and I've lost the ability to see, do I have to wait until 2021? Or do I just go back and be like, ah, let's try it again. I'm, I'm really hoping to lose smell. You can't, you can't do it again? Then I, then I do not push the button. I do not push the button. I'm just going to keep rerolling until I get smell anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. This question. This guy really thought he was slick. I see right through you. You can turn into anything you want. Whether, like, hypothetically an animal or a fictional character, whatever. You know, whatever you're into. An animal or a fictional character or whatever. Um, but you will feel excruciating pain in the areas when transformed something is lost or grown. Probably not going to hit the button there. 
62% said hit the button. Excruciating pain. Okay, sure. Whatever. No downside. Oh, dude, we got a we got a duplicate here. You have infinite money and can buy whatever you want, but whenever you buy something, someone anywhere in the world dies and their family loses everything they have, including money. That will continue to not hit the button. <laughs> what is this? Drugs are completely legal, but it's only because there's anarchy in the world. Top comment, smoke weed every day while 420 no scoping bitches. I will not push the button. Um, Rob might feel differently on that, but... Oh my god. You can continue seeing Ramona, but you have to break up with knives. It's an anime reference, I understand. It's a reference to Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I get it. LeBron James five years ago did not, though. He said, who the F is Ramona and Knives? Um, well, I mean, what's the... Okay, so, like, he's dating two ladies simultaneously? I don't know. I mean, yeah, you should hit the button and break up with Knives, you know, if you're uh, if you're also seeing Ramona. That's, you're just being, a, like, a jerk about it. Hit the button, Scott. Get in the mech, Shinji. Get in the mech, Scott Pilgrim. Get in the get in the band, Scott Pilgrim. Will you press the button? You and your friends have the ability to play any song on any instruments, but each time you play a song, you fucking die. Um, I will not press the button. <laughs> Each time you play a song, you are killed. Um, <laughs> Half-Life 3 is released, but you have to play it with a NES controller. <laughs> no downside. I push the button. <laughs> Man, that question was from like 12 years ago. You're Batman, but you have to hang out with Robin. I choose not to hit the button. I don't want the responsibility of being Batman. Will you press the button? I know, like, I, we're in the gaming part of the of the website. Free Steam games, but episode three never exists. I don't even know what this means. I'm assuming this is free Steam games, but Half-Life 3 doesn't exist. Okay, also known as free Steam games. I click the button. <laughs> oh no, it's an essay. You are the chosen one with any power S you desire, and you can do whatever you wish with absolutely no consequences whatsoever. Except for the consequence that whatever power you choose will slowly affect your mental and physical state negatively. This is literally just what... It's a description of real life. You can do things, but the things you do will eventually take their toll on you. It's, this is just aging, but better. So I hit the button, yes. I easily hit the button. And I don't respect it. You could be a dragon. It could be a dragon. But everyone hates you and tries to kill you. Mm. No upside. Yet again, a no upside question. Too real? Your current wildest dream comes true, but you will never feel satisfied with your life ever. See, that's a tough... This is a question that's actually kind of philosophical. You know? What is the point of a wildest dream if you're not happy with it? You know? Wouldn't you rather feel satisfied than have your than have any of your dreams come true? I think I think it depends what you want in life, right? It's a this is a tough question. My wildest dream? 
860,000 subscribers on YouTube. It is pretty tempting. It's, this one will make you think. Would I, let, let's just, you know, would I rather be wildly successful beyond my most ambitious dreams or feel satisfied with life? I feel like a certain amount of dissatisfaction is motivating, but to the idea that you would never, ever be able to let yourself feel satisfied, it, it takes the carrot away from the stick. I would say I would not push the button. All right. That was, that was a good one. That was a good one to, to think about. What if my wildest dream was to be satisfied? Guess what? That was the top comment from five years ago. Oh my god. I'm not going to put it on the screen, but you ready for this? You gain an incredible skill set and you can have any job you want. They are all incredibly easy for you. But every week, you get circumcised without anesthetic. And your foreskin, your, your foreskin grows right back before this. Um, no, no, I would not have a... Uh, I would not have a bris once a week to gain an incredible skill set. You have the fastest internet connection in the world, but it only works with Internet Explorer. This, I wouldn't push the button because they don't even have Internet Explorer anymore, man. This is like going back 10 years. They use Microsoft Edge now. I will not push the button. Cirrus Bake says, After I read Internet Explorer, my mouse instantly flew to the I will not button. The fastest internet connection in the world. Sorry, I gotta, I'm putting some lip balm on here. Is this guy a comedian? <laughs> that actually, someone said, so this is South Korea. That's basically true. When I lived there in 2011, you had to basically use Internet Explorer to access half of the websites online. But they loaded like that. It was crazy. Can I use it if I'm a dragon? <laughs> Next question. You can see people's dreams and make anything that occurs within them real, including your own. But this also applies to nightmares. I will push the button and I will not make nightmares real. Yeah, I will not make my nightmares real. Might make some other people's nightmares real, but, you know, might not. This is a classic uh, question here. You will become the world's smartest person in existence, but you will be extremely depressed for the rest of your life. So I don't know, like, one of the ones that's come up a lot is um, you'll become super intelligent, but, like, no one will ever know that you're smart. That doesn't bother me. I push the button. But do I want to be the world's smartest person in exchange for extreme depression? No. I can deal with being only in the top 10 as it stands right now. in order to be mildly dysthymic when I read some comments on Reddit. I think this is, a, this is a fair trade. Next question. You can choose one friend or loved one to become rich and famous, but they will hate you afterwards. This is another weird question, because like you're doing this to somebody else's life without... Them giving you the go-ahead. <laughs> what if they don't want to be rich and famous? Some people just, like, they want to live, like, a quaint, quiet life, you know? Um, it's weird. I, I feel like I would not hit the button. I, I feel like I would not hit the button. It's just weird. <laughs> the top comment just says, F no, F them. You could choose one friend or loved one to become rich or famous. F no, F them. Mom, dad, best friend, Uncle Bill, F them. <laughs> you can travel back in time 
but you can only silently observe what happened. You can't interact with the past in any way. So let's start with the obvious. This is a no downside, so I will hit the button. However, this is also not even that bad of an effect. So this does take away your ability to get rich by traveling back in time, but it would still be incredible. Well, okay, I mean, there are some... Look, you can't travel... It doesn't say you can travel forward. So I think if you go back, it's kind of like a one, a once, uh, one and done sort of thing. But you could, again, choose not to use it. But you could go back in time to, like, you know, a week ago and watch some, like, historical stuff go down. You could become the world's greatest spy or something like that. And then a week later, dude, there's, there's a Christopher Nolan movie for you. I, I hit the button. Yeah, you could go back to when Bernie won the Nevada primaries. Remember that? God, I wish that were me. Next question. You can read minds, but you go deaf. No. Again, we've established, I think in some ways, this is like, it's an incredible power to read minds. And people live with deafness, you know. They, they, they can still, you know, have a completely, you know, relatively normal life. I just don't want to read people's minds. Especially with it, when it comes with a cost. I'm not that interested. It would be kind of fun, though, on the bus or something like that. I'd be like, oh, I wonder what that guy's thinking. Then I'd be like, oh, whoa, <laughs> can't repeat that. Anyway, I will not. <laughs> you, you could make five bucks, though. That's true. You could make five bucks. Incredible. You know, it's written by a very sad person. You will never feel lonely ever again, but everyone on Earth will disappear for eternity. I don't know. Eliminate the entire human species in exchange for never feeling lonely again? Um, probably not going to push the button. Even like the 29% of people that did push the button, come on. Come on. Who's going to make the next season of uh, Demon Slayer? If everyone on Earth disappears, who's going to... How are you going to figure out how My Hero Academia ends? Think. You got to think about it for two seconds. What is this question? You will receive several million dollars properly invested to last you the rest of your life. But your mind will be erased and you will have to grow up all over again as a kid in an adult body. I know some people are going like, some people are going no upside. Some people are going no downside. And yet, I think that this is not a good question. Because I just don't understand it. Are there people around me that know the situation and how this came to pass? Like, if I had a caretaker or something that could just, like, keep me in a crib for a few years? You could pay them out of the, out of the investment fund, out of the trust. Because I feel like if you had an adult body and a newborn's brain... They're not lasting, like, 24 hours. I, would, I hit this with a heavy no. I just don't understand it. I think you would, you would freak people out. You'd be a little freaky, freaky man, baby. I don't support it. <laughs> you can bang any girl at any time, but... You can't wear a condom. You can just go, just like knock one out before you write the question. <laughs> you and your family gain immortality and will never age, but you are reduced to a very young child of the opposite gender and will be treated as such. So you will get immortality. But I would be like a three-year-old girl for for life. Would I? Would I still? Would I? Is it the opposite of that earlier question? Would I have a? 
a 32 year old man's disposition and knowledge in the <laughs> in the avatar of a of a three year old girl like it'd be like Brian from Family Guy or something and and will be treated as such is so good uh I will not um I yeah I will not um I just don't understand I mean I just don't I, I don't know why you would write that you live, but your best friend dies. <laughs> Dude, some of these questions, it really shows you the, the, what goes on in the mind of a child, right? They, they were like, these things are roughly equally weighted. You could become a student at Hogwarts, and all your friends can come with you. But you have schizophrenia. This is what the priorities of a child are like. I could live out my fantasy by being a cool wizard. But I have schizophrenia. I will not push the button. You can go to a cool school. But your mental health is considerably compromised. 49 to 51%. Half-Life will be released next month. But Valve Corporation will go bankrupt. Open parentheses. No more Steam. <laughs> um, I guess I will not hit the button. Honestly, like if if Valve <laughs> no downside, if if Valve goes bankrupt, they deserve to go bankrupt. Making like thirty percent off every game. Come on, you save the world, but you will vanish from everyone's memory. I'm not touching this one either. I don't I don't even know how to tease this one apart. I I'm I'm not even going to bring it up. I'll just let your imagination work on that one. So many of these, man. You can see the future, but nobody will believe you. Okay, I'd still like to see the future. It's kind of a gimme. Every Dude, so many people are desperate for like approval out there, huh? You are immortal and know the meaning of our existence and the one true religion. But you can't communicate that with everybody. Okay. <laughs> you have knowledge, but other people don't listen to you. So what? Oh, uh, no, here we go. This is a good this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. You acquire any DVDs you have ever wanted. Even before they come out. <laughs> but they each have one part where they skip as if the DVD had a scratch. Sam Brown said, R, I just pirate me movies. <laughs> I mean, come on, I'm hitting the button. Any DVD I want, even before they come out, you know what I want? DVD, A History of the 2020s. No one will ever believe you. I hit the button. 41% of people are like, nah, man, free DVDs if they skip a little? I don't think so. It's not worth it. Another question that just describes the way things are. You can become the founder of any religion, and it is successful and has many followers. But the other major religions find you blasphemous and never listen to reason, no matter how helpful your religion may be. Um, this is like, you know, I'm not pushing the button. It's just because it's not what I want in my life. But that's kind of, isn't that the way it's going to begin with? Great. They're like 2011 era comment here. All superheroes and supervillains are real. But the epic showdown goes down in your house and destroys everything you have. Rochelle said Loki can come to my house anytime. <laughs> I'm kind of sick of Loki, man. I know they're making a Disney Plus show with Loki. Retire. I like Tom Hiddleston, mostly because he looks like a, a British version of Josh. But I'm like, come on, I get it, okay? He's a trickster. Like, I don't want... 
I don't I don't want any more logo. I, I get it. Oh, made you look. Come on, man. The show looks sick. All right, I didn't look at the I didn't watch the trailer yet, but um anyway, um I don't know. I will not push the button. Definitely will not push the button. 40% of people would push the button. It's very scary. This is it, it's, it's a time capsule of the internet, dude. World hunger will disappear, and poverty will be a thing of the past, but everyone has to give up cars, big houses, fast food, and Walmart. Okay, that's a press. But the top comment says, Oh, well, as long as we still have everything else, especially swords. Especially swords. He's a sword enthusiast. Top comment, a sword enthusiast. Um, I will hit the button. Yes. And e easily. So many world hunger questions. You solve world hunger and the need for guns and violence and lengthen your lifespan by 30 years, but only if 99% or more press the button. Would you lose your benefit to hurt everyone else's chances? What does this mean? It's like you, you made this question out of redstone. Like, I don't understand it. You solve world hunger and the need for guns and violence and lengthen your lifespan for 30 years. But only if 99% or more press the button, would you lose your benefit? I don't understand. What's my benefit? <laughs> What's the benefit? I, I will push the button. It's 79 to 21. I don't get it. I just... I, I don't understand. You have the best computer in the world, but you have to use Internet Explorer. Um, okay. N next question, please. So many of these just... They're pissing me off, man. You gain the ability to see into the future. Mmm. But you can never do anything to change it. It's the easiest button press of all time. Plus, it doesn't even make sense. You're changing the future constantly. Just by existing, man. Like, I can take a bathroom break right now, but I'm choosing not to. Although, we'll see. You can restart your life from zero, but you can't remember your past life. I will not. All right. I'm going to do one more question and then we're going to we're going to end this segment and move on. It's a sad one, but you know what it is what it is. You are friends with any characters you choose from any books you have read, including graphic novels and manga. But you don't have any other friends and the characters are only physical manifestations when you are alone in your room. I will not push the button. <laughs> In the garage, I feel safe. No one cares. Uh, who would you push the button? All right. Fun segment, as always.